In this video, what we're going to do is uh, focus on introducing a couple of um, a signal generator to you. A signal generator basically is a device that can put out different kinds of uh, signals for you. Uh, this particular one we're looking at is called MHS5200A. is a very good basic signal generator. In the background, I've set up a Tektronik um, oscilloscope so we can look at the signals as they are uh, being produced. So the very first thing is uh, we got to uh, turn, uh, turn the signal generator on. The on button is on the back of this device right here. So we'll just turn that one on by pressing on the one. So it comes up, usually it comes up as a default set to uh, 15 kilohertz. So the other thing we need to do is that is this device has two channels, so you can produce two separate independent signals uh, if you choose to. For, for this video, we're going to focus on channel one. Just want to remind everybody, this is much like a coaxial cable you have at home for Comcast or whatever. And when you put it in, you should not need to apply much force. Just make sure you line up the openings with this and simple touch puts it in and then you can click it closed okay and then the scope uh, you you had there are other videos that talk about scope but i just want to emphasize that uh, even though the scope also has a um, uh, coaxial cable connection you have to use the probe that comes with the scope you should not use any other probe with the scope it could damage the scope so here is your probe, the, this probe for the scope opens up by pulling on this. You see that pulling on that? And then there's a hook that comes up and you can use that to make connection to the plus side of the generator. So we can, and the reason for the scope is so we can, and of course the ground has to be connected to. The reason for the scope is so we can kind of see, visually see what signal we are generating as we make changes to the signal generator. So first thing is how do we change the frequency? Uh, the, you see the star indicates what has been selected and by default the frequency is selected. You can use this arrow to move to any digit you want to change and as you can see right now it's set to kilohertz. So maybe I want to set this thing to uh, five, uh, 10 kilohertz. So all I do is I move the cursor to 5 and I use this knob to turn it down to 5. And if you watch the scope, it goes down reflecting the now I'm at 10 kilohertz sine wave. Let's say I want to you know, change the wave on this screen. See that there's a button wave and the way you reach the writing, uh, the function above the normal button is by pressing shift. So now you got shift wave and notice the start move to the wave. And I can, all I do is use this arrow to make the changes. Okay, this got sine wave, square wave, sawtooth, uh, different kind of sawtooth, triang and then you can make up your own. So a couple of different right, left sawtooth, triangles, square, and sine. We're going to stay with square wave. Um, and what we want to do is we want to now set the square wave's amplitude. Amplitude is basically the peak from zero, the, how high it goes and how low it goes. So for this case, if I want to set the peak, then it set the amplitude. Again, I have to press the shift. I press the amplitude, and there is the amplitude that comes up. As you can see, there's a star next to the amplitude. Right now, it's set to five. I want to set it to two and a half and there it is and as you can see the scope is reflecting as I make the changes now maybe I want to push the wave up and the way we push the wave up so it's not averaged around the zero but maybe the low side is on zero right now the low side is from minus is at minus two and a half volt the high side is two and a half volts I want to make it so it goes from zero to five volts all I do use this page down button and this is called DC offset. DC offset is a way we can add um, DC voltage to our signal which means it lifts the signal up. So if I let's say and it's done as a percentage of your signal if I want the low to end up on zero I have to add two and a half volt which is hundred percent of the peak so here hundred percent. 
Now my signal is going from zero to five volts as you can see on the oscilloscope. And that's called the DC offset. The next thing I may, may wanna do is I wanna change how long it's on. Uh, the term used to describe how long during a period uh, the signal is high and well, as a percentage of the total uh, cycle, or in other words, is the amount of time it's on divided by the cycle. That's called the duty cycle, it's a percentage. Right now, if you notice, it's setting 50% high, 50% low. It's called a 50% duty cycle. So if I want to change that, oops, sorry, that's a DC offset. I will press the page down one more time. Now it gets the duty cycle. So I can set my duty cycle, let's say, to quarter. So 25% of the time is high, and the rest of the time is low. Almost there. Okay, there it is. Okay, that's a review of uh, this particular uh, signal generator MHS 5200A. Um, other videos in this channel, we also have videos for uh, oscilloscopes. So if you have not done that, that's an important one to take a look at just uh, as a next step.